Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to add your own water splashing effect to your Gorilla Tech fan game. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead, go get the script in the Google document in the description. Also, I did not make this script. It's made by this guy called, like, D Jr., I think that's how you say it. Uh, his channel's linked in the description. So, yeah, go sub to him. Anyways, you want to copy and paste that, right click, create, and then click on C sharp, and then rename it to Ripple No Space Effect. Capital R, capital, capital E, like at the start of effect. Spell it exactly like this right here, um, with no space. And if you don't, it won't work. So, capital R, capital E, at the start of effect. So after you do, ah, sorry, <laughs> do that. You want to go in your water, right click, 3D object cube. Now, make it so it's only at the very top of your cube. This is basically where it's going to be when you touch it to make the splash effect. Now, after you do that, you want to go ahead, go to your materials. Actually, don't do it yet, but just make sure you have an invisible material. And I'll show you how to make one later. After you do this, you want to go ahead, add the, uh, what's it called? I forgot. Oh, yeah, ripple effect. Uh, ripple effect. Now, you're going to see left, right. So, go into your grill, uh, grill rig, grill player, left hand, right hand. Make left hand, your left hand, and right hand, right hand. And then spawn duration, make it 1.4. That's how long it's going to be there. Particle effect. So uh, to do this, go in the description again and download the effect. It's going to be called a big splash. And basically, it's like an, a splash effect. Keep in mind, I did not make this. This is a default Unity asset that uh, Unity made. So I did not make this effect. But yeah, so get that. After you do that, after you got it, go ahead, drag it into particle effect next oh also go into it it spawns out being pretty big so if you want to you can make it smaller or you can make it um bigger depending on how big you want it to be and how big your water is after that you're going to see left hit sound right hit sound it's going to be the same hit sound but what you want to do is go to your hit sound uh empty object if you don't have one click here create empty then put another empty inside called splash. You don't have to uh, name it splash, but if you want to, then go ahead, click here, add a audio source. Audio. Ugh, spell that wrong. I don't care. <laughs> audio source and put in your audio clip. If you don't have one, go on Google, look one up, download it, and put it in. And then make sure you turn off loop. And I don't think you should, should automatically. Uh, Oh my god, automatically be on, but make sure that's off. Make sure play on awake is off. After you uh, take off both of those, go ahead, put your splash in both of those. It'll play the sound. And now we just gotta test it out. So let me go ahead, spawn, let me move my grow rig. Um, I just made a little test map for the video. So let me go ahead and get my grow rig over here. Oh, also, I forgot. Uh, make an invisible material. So to do that, right-click, create material, click on your material. Then, let me find one that I can edit. Uh, hold up. Materials. All right. So go on your material. Dang. Okay, it's my first time doing one of these tutorials. <laughs> Be quiet. Anyways, go on to it. Go to fade. Go here, take it all the way down. All right, and I'm gonna control Z that because I use that material. Anyways, put it on there. So I'm gonna get my invisible material. And as you can see, you can't see it anymore. And now let me just make sure my grill rig is ready. Oh, and also you'll uh it'll have a box box collider. Make sure you turn on is trigger, and Add your uh, swimming script. So I'm gonna add my better swimming script because if you don't do that, uh, you'll be able to collide with it. And if you don't turn on its trigger, you won't be able to. It won't spawn basically. So next, just play your game. And wait for my character to load. No, it's on pause. I don't know why it's on pause. Anyways, put your left hand on the top. So watch if I just put my hand in the middle. It won't work. 
Now, if I go ahead and put my hand up here, my hand down, it'll make a nice little splash effect. So yeah, for more tutorials, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, sorry that this tutorial took a little bit. It's my first ever time making a tutorial uh, on a real tech fan game. So yeah, like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.